and the Chocolate Factory received mixed reviews from critics when it premiered in 1971. Roger Ebert loved it, calling it probably the best film of its sort since The Wizard of Oz. Others, though, failed to see what the fuss was all about. Many critics took issue with the music in particular, though that's what ended up earning an Oscar nomination. The song The Candyman, written for the film by Leslie Brickus and Anthony Newley, also became a big hit for Sammy Davis Jr. Regardless of the critical response, Willy Wonka has endured for decades with audiences and its popularity has inspired other adaptations. In 2005, director Tim Burton took his turn with the material, keeping the book's title, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, in a version starring Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka. And next weekend, from Warner Brothers, a prequel comes to theaters. It's called Wonka, with Timothy Chalamet in the title role, also stars Hugh Grant. Coming up from MGM in 1939, Lionel Barrymore stars as a grandpa looking out for his grandson. On Borrowed Time is next on TCM. Next on TCM, On Borrowed Time. Then Max Dugan returns. And later, Little Lord Fauntleroy. TCM strikes it rich tonight. The turning